Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, we are going to see the derivation of rotational energy. In my previous video, I have already explained about different types of spectra and among them, one of the spectra is rotational spectra that occurs within the rotational energy level. That means every molecule has rotational energy. So in this video, we are going to see a formula by using which we can calculate the rotational energy of any molecules depending upon the rotational quantum number. So let's start. First of all, we need to consider a diatomic molecule like this. This is a diatomic molecule. This is first atom, this is another atom. Let's consider their masses to be M1 and M2. And we know that there will be certain, sorry, this is the bond. Let's consider this is the bond, okay, that is joining their center. And we know that there will be a center of gravity. Let's consider that center of gravity is here. Then uh, the distance between the center of M1 and this center of gravity will be R1. Similarly, the distance between the center of M2 and uh, center of gravity is R2 and the distance between the two molecules is R. So this is a rigid rotor. A rigid rotor that means we are considering a condition in which they cannot rotate okay their bond length is fixed and this is that condition now this is called center of gravity we already know that at center of gravity one of the condition is satisfied let me write that okay at center of gravity the condition the condition satisfied Satisfied, satisfied is the condition satisfied is m1 r1 will be equal to m2 r2 at center of uh, at center of gravity the uh, product of r1 and m1 will be equal to the product of r2 and m2 let's consider this to be equation number one now we know that there will be moment of inertia whenever we talk about rotor right so the moment of inertia so the moment of inertia that is denoted by I, moment of inertia is denoted by I of the of the diatomic of the diatomic molecule is molecule is I will be equal to how much? M1 R1 square plus M2 R2 square. So this is the value for the moment of inertia of the diatomic molecule. If it was monoatomic, it would only be I is equal to M1 R1 square. Now it is diatomic, so we need to add M1 and M1 R1 square and M2 R2 square. Now can we write this like this? M1 into R1 into R1 plus M2 into R2 into R2. Obviously we can write this right now. Let's use equation number 1 over here. That means in place of M1, R1, we can write M2, R2. Here there is M1, R1. So let's write M2, R2 over here. M2, R2 into R1 plus. Here in place of M2, R2, we can write M1, R1, right? So let's write M1, R1 into R2. We are using, we are using equation number 1 over here. Okay. So we get, let's. Uh, take common R1, R2, R1, R2 can be taken as the common. So let's take them as the common R1, R2. We get M1 plus M2. So this is how much we get if we solve this equation. And let's consider this to be equation number 2. Now to do further, let me erase this part. Now from the figure, we can write that if we add R1 and R2, how much will we get? We will definitely get the value of R. So from figure, from figure, we can write R1 plus R2 will be equal to R. Now from this, let's find the value of R2. So R2 will be equal to how much? R minus R1. Let's consider this to be equation number 3. 
we can consider it right now using using equation number three in equation number one what was equation number one i have already did that but it is m1 r1 is equal to m2 r2 right so here in place of r2 let's write the value of r2 from here okay so it will be m1 r1 equal to m2 into in place of r2 what do we need to write r minus r1 right let me erase this part okay now let's solve it from here we need to find uh, the value of r1 okay so it will be m1 r1 equal to m2 r minus m2 r1 let's take this value to this side then its sign will what change obviously so it will be this much m2 r right so therefore it will be r1 will be equal to if we take r1 common it will be m1 plus m2 if we take it to other side it will directly be this much right it will be this much let's consider this to be question number four similarly similarly if we found if we found the value of r1 over here then it would have been r2 is equal to m1 r by m1 plus m2 you can easily do this by finding the value of r1 over here take r2 to other side and put the value of r1 here then if you find the value of r2 just like this you would get this much so we now found the value of r1 and r2 now we need to put these values in equation number two what was equation number two equation number two was i is equal to r1 into r2 m1 plus m2 right this is equation number two now let's put these values the values of r1 and r2 in equation number two okay this was equation number four now using using four and five in two so using these two values this is r1 actually the using these two values in this equation what will we get i is equal to in place of r1 we need to write this value that is m1 r by m1 plus m2 into in place of r2 let's write this value sorry here it should be 2 so m1 r by m1 plus m2 into how much m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 right so we can cancel these values and we just need to multiply m1 into m2 will be m1 m2 r into r will be r square by it will be m1 plus m2 right now you can see over here let me read this part you can see over here let's just write this part together m1 plus m2 into r square now this can be represented by mu mu means combined mass right or reduced mass so i will be equal to this much let's consider this to be equation number c uh, 6 where where mu is equal to m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 which is the reduced mass reduced mass now for further derivation let me read this portion now we need to use the concept of angular momentum so by the definition by the definition the angular momentum the angular momentum that is l can be written as i omega where this omega is the angular velocity angular velocity this is equation number seven okay in this i is the moment of inertia l means uh, angular momentum okay so here l means what angular momentum angular momentum also angular momentum this is very important point angular momentum is quantized 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 the meaning of quantized means it depends on the quantum number okay it depends on the quantum number that's why angular momentum is quantized now uh, its formula another formula can be given as 
रूट अंडार जे इंटू जे प्लस वन इंटू एच बै टू पाई दिस कैन अल्सो वि द फर्मुला दिस इज अल्सो अ फर्मुला फर एंगुलर मोमेंटम इन टर्म्स अफ क्वान्टम नम्बर ओके सो लेट्स कन्सिडर टू बी इक्वेशन नम्बर एट अल्सो नाउ द रोटेटिंग एनार्जी द रोटेटिंग एनार्जी और रोटेशनल एनार्जी ओके इट उड बी बेटर टू डाइट रोटेशनल एनार्जी द रोटेशनल एनार्जी इज गिवन बाय गिवन बाय देर इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर द रोटेशनल एनार्जी एंड दैट इज टू बी इक्वल टू हाफ आई ओमेगा स्क्वायर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर द रोटेशनल एनर्जी नाउ लेट्स डू समथिंग सो दैट वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एनर्जी इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स ओके सो वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस वन बाई टू आई इफ वी राइट आई इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई वन आई इन द सॉरी विद द न्यूमिनेटर इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई देर इट विल बी आई इन टू आई सो इट विल बी हाउ मच आई स्क्वायर ओमेगा स्क्वायर राइट सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन बाई टू आई into i omega square can we write this or not and in place of i omega what can we write i omega means l so we can write half 1 by 2i into l square and this is we get by using equation number using equation number how much 7 so we we get this much of the value right so let's erase this portion Let's erase this portion. Therefore, how much do we get? Energy is equal to one by two i into how much? L square. But L, we need to find the value of L in terms of quantum number, right? And it is given here in the equation eight. So using using equation number eight, if we use the equation number eight over here, then what do we get? E is equal to one by two i. Into there is square right, so this root will be cancelled out, so it will be j into j plus one into h square by four pi r four pi square. Yes, we will get this much, and it will finally be how much if we multiply, then this two four ja will be eight pi square i into j j plus one. So this is the required value for the energy of rotational energy or simply rotational energy formula okay this is called this equation is called rotational rotational energy formula here we can see that this i can be calculated mathematically by using the formula i is equal to mu r square and this j is the rotational quantum number that we can know and by using which we can find the rotational energy easily so this is the formula for the rotational energy that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can thank you for watching the video